Hello and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, we're gonna be learning to light paint a car, both the photography side and the editing side. And this is actually a lesson from a full photography course that I made called the Ultimate Photography Course. And that course starts at the very, very beginning of photography and teaches you way more advanced techniques such as what you're about to see in this video here. So if you like what you see, please check out my course, but I just decided to upload this lesson on YouTube for free, just so people can see kind of what it's all about. So hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to the second car photography lesson. And in this one, we're gonna be doing some painting with light, which is awesome. So in order to do this, you need a dark area. So it's pretty much nighttime, probably in about 20 minutes, but we have actually found this factory that is unfinished. They haven't finished building it yet that we can get into. And we've got the car parked in there. And what light painting consists of is basically a long shutter speed. So I'm gonna try and aim for maybe five, 10 second shutter speeds, five to 10 seconds, I should say. And during that time, I'm just gonna be using my torch. I have like a LED strip. I'm gonna be using that and painting the car, which I'll go through with you in more detail as we do it. Yeah, basically we've got the composition dialed, we're ready to go. So once it's dark enough, I'll get started and I'll let you know exactly what I'll be doing. All right, so we've got ourselves in position. We've picked our composition. It's getting darker by the second. And what I wanna do first, I've just got someone lighting me up at the moment so you can see me, but what I wanna do is take an ambient shot. And that means I'm going to take a photo of the car without any light painting or anything like that and that's gonna involve quite a long shutter speed. So I'm just gonna adjust my settings. I'm shooting this at ISO 100, I'm at F8 because I wanna make sure most of the things are in focus throughout the image. And I'm gonna go with a shutter speed of just 30 seconds. And I'm gonna manual focus. If you have troubles getting focus in the dark, just shine a light on the object like a torch or some kind of light, then you can grab your focus and then flick to manual. Once you've got your focal point, which I have, so I'm just gonna take, a I've got a timer set on the camera, but I'm just gonna take a 30 second exposure of the car with no light painting. And this will be just in case we need uh, a shot later where we weren't light painting or something like that. It's just basically a safety shot. All right, so there's that shot there. That's a 30 second ambient exposure and ambient just means we're using the light around us. And 30 seconds, it kind of looks like a normal photo. So this is just gonna be a safety backup in case we need to paint something in from uh, from another image if something didn't come out right at least we've got the car pretty well exposed in a photo so now what i'm going to do is speed my shutter speed up until i'm going to expose basically for the darkest thing in the room or not the darkest thing i want to take a pretty dark shot so what we'll do in a second it's probably going to be about six or ten seconds and this shot here is just going to be a base for the light painting so what we'll do this looks like it's going to be a 10 second exposure at f8 and iso 100 and this, these settings here will probably be the settings I'm using for the rest of the two, for the rest of this lesson. So even when we're light painting, we'll have 10 seconds to paint different parts of the car and then we'll blend them all together. So I'll take this shot here, but what we're gonna do is turn the light off that's lighting me up because it is gonna affect the car. So I'll take this shot here and I'll show you what that looks like once we've turned this light off and I'll take in the photo. All right, so there's that shot there. As you can see, everything's really dark. You can't really make out anything. You can just see kind of like a silhouette of the car. And this is just gonna be our base layer. We're probably gonna build the light painting layers on top of, and uh, that's all we really need. So we're gonna start light painting, and these are gonna be our final settings. So 10 seconds, that's plenty of time to walk down the car with the light. F8, so everything's in focus, or a lot of things are in focus throughout the frame, and ISO 100. And I've also got a timer set on my camera of 10 seconds. That gives me time to walk over to the car and then get ready to light paint. Now, if you have a remote shutter or like an app on your phone that can release the shutter, that's way better than this. I have that, but I'm just gonna be using the timer on the camera. And um, what we're basically gonna do is paint the roof. So like a silhouette of the roof and the sides of the doors, um, maybe a bit lower on the doors, the wheels, the rear section of the boot or the trunk, depending what you call it, where you're from. Uh, the back section of the bumper and things like that. We're basically gonna paint the whole car, but we're not trying to do it in one shot. You wanna try and do it in kind of as many shots as possible and that way we can paint things in that we want and paint things out that we don't want. So um, hopefully this comes out good, but what we'll do, just wait for it to get a little bit darker. There's a bit of light coming through. You can probably see there's a reflection on the back wall behind me there. That's just, it's still a bit light outside. So probably another five or 10 minutes and we'll be able to start light painting. So um, the next footage you see will be me just painting the car, I guess. All right, so I've just noticed that that reflection or that light on the back wall is actually from a street light, so there's not really gonna be much we can do about that. I thought it was from the sky because it's not quite dark yet, but um, it should be okay. We should be able to go ahead with it. As you can see in the photo I last took of the car, just like a dark exposure, the brightest thing's the wall, so it shouldn't matter too much. Um, 
but yeah, I guess we can start light painting now and see what happens. So 10 second shutter, shutter speed F8 and ISO 100. As I push my shutter, I'm gonna have 10 seconds to walk over to the car and start light painting. So I'll do that now. Thank you, sir. I'll actually start on the boot. All right, so that's the first shot done. All I did was paint, light paint the back section of the car, just the trunk and the back. Um, I might come back and do a little touch up there because there's a lot of reflection in the tail light. One thing to keep in mind is obviously you don't want to be, um, try not to have the light in the view of the camera. So try and keep the light away from the camera. Um, otherwise it's, it might be hard to Photoshop. Basically what I'm saying is try not to have the light against the car in your photo because it's gonna be hard to edit out. So try and, if you're painting the roof, for instance, try and hold the light up above the roof and just move over. If you're painting the side of the car, try and kind of keep the, keep the beam or light not facing the actual camera you're taking the photo with, because you might blind the camera. And it's gonna be hard to edit when you've got these big streaks of light coming from the actual light. You want the light that's on the car to be lit up, not the actual lamp you're using, if that makes sense. All right, so now what we're gonna do is do another shot. And this time I'm probably just gonna do the roof line and we'll start doing the sides and things like that and we should be done. All right, so we just wrapped up. Um, basically I did one of the roof line, one for like the tops of the doors, the bottom of the doors, the tops of the trunk or the boot and the back bumper and rear area of the car. So. Um, I've also done the wheels and what we're going to do now is turn the headlights on or the brake lights just so we can get some red glowing on the floor and some headlight action on the floor and I might actually use the lamp. This can change colour so we might actually set it to red and paint some fake brake lights in. We'll see how we go. But one thing to keep in mind is whatever you're using to light the car, you might have to play around with the settings of if, how bright it is basically or stand back further or stand closer. It's just going to depend. Um, if your light's too bright you might just need to make your shutter speed a little bit faster but I think we've got some good ones. We'll get back to the computer and I'll tell you exactly what photos I took and how I did them. And then we'll mesh these all together. And hopefully we can come up with something that looks pretty cool. All right, so here we are back in Lightroom. I've got all of our light painted images down on the film strip here. And we'll just go through them one by one and I'll let you know exactly which ones they were. It was a bit hard to film because it was dark. So I figured I'd just walk you through the images that I took and why I took them. So. This one here is an ambient exposure. Basically, it's a eight second exposure. Here are the settings up here. And this is just if I ever need anything during the light painting when I edit, if I need anything that I missed or something like that, I can just use this. So this image here is no light painting in or anything like that. It's just a normal exposure of the car. Um, obviously, it's a longer uh, shutter speed because it's, it was quite dark in this warehouse here. So that's all that one's for there. I might not even use that at all but it's just good as a little backup. So I always take kind of like an ambient shot um, before I start the light painting. This one here is just a little bit of a fun one that I might add in after, I might not. I'll just see how I go with that. And this one here is the base shot. So this is the shot where we've got all our settings set. So it's a 10 second shutter speed, ISO 100, and we're at F8. And this will be the one that we paint all our layers on top of. So you can just see a really little bit of a silhouette of the car and things like that but this is what we'll use to paint on top of and the next one here is kind of like the roof line area of the car and all I did was just walk down the car with the with the light above and what you're trying to do is keep the light above the car so it doesn't end up in the part of the image we're going to be using which is the car so I kept my light pretty high here this one here is for the top of the door area here as you can see this next one here is for the kind of bottom of the car. Now, I made a bit of a mistake here. I've exposed some of the light on the car. As you can see, there's a little blue kind of line here, but we just won't use that part, so that should work out okay. And this one here is another one, a bit of the roof line, but more of the front of the car here than the top of the door here. And this one's a little bit more of the front. I just took a lot more photos than I needed, but it's always good to do that because then when you're in Photoshop, you've got a lot more to play around with, which is good. Uh, this here is just for the rear of the car. And so the trunk slash boot and the rear bumper and things like that. 
Uh, this one I may not use, but it's just like a little bit of a roof line light and back window. This is simulating brake lights on the ground. So I just changed my light to red. What I have is like an LED strip light and you can change colors and things like that on there. So that's for that. This is simulating the headlights on the ground. So I'll just be using this part of the image just here. And this one is the car with the actual tail lights and headlights on. So you can see the red, it doesn't leave that much of a red there. So I can paint my, this one in here later on. So that's that one. Uh, this one is for the floor, so if I want to paint in a bit more of the floor, I can. Uh, this one is for the wall, so again, I can paint in a bit more of that if I want to. Uh, this I may not use, it's just kind of some light from underneath the car, a little bit more on the rear here. Uh, this one, I think, hey, I was trying to get a bit more of the exhaust tips area down here, I believe, exposed, but I may not use this one. And this one here is for the wheels, so you can see the boots up, but it doesn't matter, because all we're going to be using from this one is the wheels. So first thing I want to do is just head to the start one here. I want to make sure that all the white balance is set evenly across them. So I'm just going to set this to 5500 because I know that's the color of my light. And maybe just leave the tint. It's, let's just see one of these ones actually. So 5500. And let's just leave this at plus 20 just so we know. And I'm just going to right click that one we've just edited. Develop settings. Copy settings. Check all. Copy, and then I can select the first one and hold down shift and select the last one. Right click, develop settings, paste settings, and now they all should be 5500 Kelvins at 2010. And that's basically all I'm gonna do for now, but what I might do actually is this one here with the tail, the tail lights and headlights on. I want to, Zoom in here, just so we can get a little bit more texture and details out of the tail lights here. I might just pull the highlights down. Just a little bit like that. All right, so now we're ready for Photoshop. I'm not gonna do any more editing in Lightroom. The rest will be done in Photoshop and then we can use Lightroom if we want to do some tidy ups at the end or do some little color corrections and things like that at the end. But what I wanna do now, select the first image once again and hold down shift and click the last image. Right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Now, we've got quite a few images here. We've got 18, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to load those, but I'll let you know once they're all loaded and we're ready to go. All right, so all those layers are now loaded into Photoshop. I'm gonna select the first one, go all the way to the bottom, hold down shift and click the last one and go to edit, auto align layers. And just leave that on auto. This is gonna make sure the camera didn't move through any of the exposures and just align those up. All right, and that's it, that's done. So next thing I wanna do is start labeling the layers. So this one here, I'm gonna call Bright Ambient. So this is the one where we just made everything brighter in case I need this. I probably won't even use this. Uh, this one's just gonna be, I'll just call it Styling. Just probably won't even use that one either. That's just a little bit of a fun one I can try. The thing I love about light painting is we're in absolute control of everything we want and what we don't want. Um, you can do this in one shot. You can take a photo over 20, 30 seconds and paint the whole car, but it's very hard if you want something removed or you want something added, it's very hard. So this way we're in control of basically everything. All right, and then we're back to the base. So I have all our layers turned off except for the base and we can start our light painting. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is turn on the wheels layer and just set the blend mode up here. From normal, we'll change that to lighten. What that's gonna do is only allow the lighter or brighter parts of this layer to show through. So if we turn this off and on, you can see it's making quite a difference, but all I want from this is the wheels. So I'm gonna add a layer mask fill with black and to do that, I can hold the Alt key and press add layer mask. Actually, I might do this one the other way around. So I'll just add a layer mask filled with white and I can remove what I don't want. So I can paint with black grab a brush, set the flow to 100% for now because I just want to remove this quite quickly and just make sure the brush is soft so hardness is set to zero and we can start painting out what we don't want. I don't really want anything apart from the wheels in this one. If yeah, if it helps you can cut the car out and this kind of thing makes it easier but for the sake of this we'll just be using the brush and just brushing out anything we don't want from this layer, which is basically everything. 
except the wheels. So I'll we'll zoom in. We can come back and clean these up a little bit more later if we want to. And for this part around the tyres, I might set the hardness to 100%, just so I can get a kind of hard edge against the tyres. I'll come back and clean that up a little bit more in a second. And then what I'll do is set my flow to something like 10%, somewhere around there. Go the hardness back to zero. And just remove any hot spots. Like parts that I find a little bit too bright. Especially there. Alright, and I think that looks okay for now. We might come back to that. And let's start the next one. So this is under the rear bar. I might leave that till later. So I'll drag, I'll start on... Let's get the actual car lights in. So I'll drag this down so I work on that next. Again, set the blend mode to lighten. And that's that one. All right, so this is the tail lights and the headlights. It's actually looking pretty good. I'll in, I really like the headlights here. I might not even use the fake ones, but we'll see how we go. But what I might do here is add a layer mask and just paint out the... There's like a light on the door here. I'm not a big fan of that. No, I'll leave those headlights in. I quite like that. But I'll just make sure everything else is painted out. Because you got to remember the headlights will be bouncing off the wall and lighting other parts of the car. And I may even remove these little um, bright spots on the bumper bar here. But I'll turn the flow down a little bit. Maybe 19%, something like that. And I wonder if we should just do a quick blast over the lights. Or leave that in. I'll leave that like that. That looks pretty good. Alright, so that's that. Now, I think the next part I want to do is probably the rear of the car. Which is this one here. So I'll drag this down. You can work on these any order you like, but I just like to... Kind of start from the back and work my way forward. So that's the rear layer there. So again, turn that on. Set the blend mode to lighten. And that's looking good. Um, obviously, we've got to remove all this here. So we can add a layer mask and pick a black brush. Probably set the flow to 100% just to quickly remove all this. I don't mind the haze under the car there, actually. But I'll get rid of it for now because we did do some other layers where we'll probably get that back. And you can see I got the light in front of the car, which is an issue because it, now we can't easily get rid of this, but it's not a problem. That's why I did another layer later of the, more of the back corner of the car here. So we'll just have to remove that completely. But look at the detail, how good this is looking already. Love it. Okay, that's that. Now the next part I want to do is possibly... Let's find that other rear bumper part that I did. I think that's this one here. Under rear bar. Turn that on. Set the blend mode to lighten. Again, add a layer mask and just brush out anything we don't want. This is why it definitely helps if you want to cut the car out before you start this process. It's a bit easier, but for the sake of this tutorial, this is probably the quicker way of doing it. And I noticed we've got some red spots on the car here and these tail lights reflecting off the bar. So I'll just find out what layer they are on. Okay, that could be just dirt on the car. But what I will do is just put my flow down to about 15%, somewhere around there. Set my brush hardness to zero. I just want to lighten the reflection on the car from the tail light. Yeah, those little red dots around this area, they might just be actual marks on the car, so I can Photoshop those out later because I can't see... Ah, that's where they came from. The wheels layer. I'm not even sure what that is, but we'll paint that out. This is what I mean by having all these layers is absolutely fantastic because we're able to just add and remove things if we want to. Okay, the wheels layer is also adding this weird little thing around the exhaust, so I'll get rid of that too. 
we've got all this stuff going on here as well, which I'll get rid of. I'll probably set the flow pretty high for this because I want to get rid of most of this. Much better, much better. That's looking good so far, so we'll get on to the next one. All right, so the next one I want to do is probably the top of the side of the car. So I think we've got um, side top here. That's not bad. And side bottom and side. Maybe I'll do that one there. So we'll drag that down to where we're working on next. Just there. Turn it on. Set the blend mode to lighten as usual. And this is looking really nice now. So add a layer mask once again. Feel, uh, we're going to start painting black. I'll put the flow up to 100% for this because I want to remove all this stuff first. Just any evidence of our light. That's looking good. I might just uh, turn the flow down to 20% or so and just lighten some of this. Just a little bit. Looking good. Really happy with this so far. Um, actually, yeah, I forgot about the floor as well. I kind of like that, but we can add that back in later if we want to. So I'll just remove some of that, just like that. Set the flow to 100%. Just make sure we haven't got any light spilling around. So I'll paint all this again. And next one I'll do is probably the other side one we had. I think it's side top. Uh, we may not end up using a lot from this, but we'll see how we go. Drag this down, turn it on, set the blend mode to lighten. And again, we're going to add our layer mask and brush this out. And may just give it, take the flow down to 20% and just give it a quick brush out so it's not too bright and in your face. That's looking really good once again. Just paint everywhere else to get rid of any spillage of light that we don't want. Okay, and we'll go with that other side one that we have, side bottom. I don't know how much of this. Actually, we'll probably end up using a bit of this because the bottom of the car is still quite dark. Turn that on, set the blend mode to lighten. And once again, add a layer mask, brush out our evidence of our light. But I've also got a little bit of an issue here with what I did here, so we'll have to brush that out. Make sure our brush is set to soft, yep. And just brush out this blue area. And maybe set the flow down to about 20% again, just give it a quick swipe, just so it's not so obvious. Looks okay, we might come back to that. And now we'll select our next layer and decide which one to work on, so I'll probably do Possibly the roof line. Yeah, roof line from back will do. So I'll drag that down, ready to go for what we'll work on next. Again, set the blend mode to lighten. Add a layer mask and we're going to paint out the evidence of our light. And I don't. this light, light on the back window looks nice, but it's a bit too much. So I'm going to set the flow to like 20% and just brush over that. A couple of times. I might even remove that. I don't know if I like this layer at all. I'm going to leave that for now and leave it off. Not sure I like that. So next one we'll go to... Let's try the roof line. Add on, set the layer blend mode to lighten. Yeah, it looks much nicer. So I think I'll get rid of that layer in a moment. Uh, again, add a layer mask, paint this out in black, set the flow to 100% so we can remove that really quickly. And now let's go front guard, turn that on, set the blend mode to lighten, basically the same thing over and over and over again till we're done. So paint this out, flow at 100%, paint that out, just paint everywhere else out just in case some light's built on something we don't want. And then set the flow maybe 20% or so. Just run it over, I think. Yeah, I'm going to paint a lot of this out. And I also don't really like the light we have on the window here, which is part of that layer. Get rid of that. I'll leave a little bit. I like a little bit of a gradient on the glass. Looks nice. 
And then somewhere we got the rear glass. Yeah, that one there. So I'll just fix that up now as well. Looks okay for now. I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan of this area down here, but we can fix that up later. So let's find our next layer and do the same. And maybe now we should paint, start painting the brake lights and things like that in. So we'll drag that down, turn it on. Set the blend mode to lighten. And add a layer mask once again. Quite like that. And we'll go and do the same thing. We'll get the headlights and do the same with that. Just clean this up a little bit. Helps when you're doing this, just flick the layer off and on and you, see, you can see what's changing. Let's go with the fake headlights that we did on the floor. I quite like the original ones, but we'll see. These might look a bit nicer. Blend mode to lighten and once again add a layer mask. Flow at 100%, remove our evidence. Make sure we paint everything else out to make sure that not affecting anything else. And we'll turn this off and on. Yeah, quite like that. Not huge difference, but I quite like it. We'll turn the flow down to 20%, or 15% or so. Just give it a really quick swipe. That's it. Looks good. Turn that off and on. Just a little bit more light there. Looks good. Okay, um, let's find another one. So we might want to start bringing out the floor. So I'll drag that layer down. We'll see what this looks like. Turn that on. And set the blend mode to lighten. Yeah, it's just starting to look pretty cool. Uh, add a layer mask. Once again, we're going to add the put the flow up to 100%. Brush out any evidence of our light and anything else we weren't supposed to paint. And the floor is definitely a bit too bright, but I'm going to fix that. I'm going to put the flow down to maybe somewhere around 15% and just brush it out a little bit. So now you can see things are starting to come together. The wheels are starting to look like they're on the ground and things like that. Whereas before, without this layer, the wheels are kind of floating in space almost. So this adds a little bit more texture. Might make the corner a bit darker there, just like a fake kind of vignette. Oh, we've got some red there somehow. Where's that from? Yeah, our fake brakes have made it into here a little bit. I'll put it up to 100%. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, now we'll do the back wall. So this is where I just lit the back wall up. And I want to keep this one subtle. I kind of want to keep this really dark and moody, so I don't want to go over the top with brightness. So that actually looks cool, but I'm going to knock it down a little bit. So we'll go to the... But 20% on the flow, maybe 15, 16%, something like that. And just give this a big kind of swipe. So that box kind of light you see there is actually, it was nighttime, but there was a factory across the road with a really bright light. So that's the garage door of this factory being kind of lit up by the other factory, unfortunately. But it kind of adds to the, to the look. I think it looks kind of cool. And I'll just go down in here and clean this up. Some light escaped from under the car. Um, what else have we got? We have the underglow now, which we'll see what that looks like. Not sure if I'll even use this at all. Let's see what it looks like. Set the blend mode to lighten. Uh, add a layer mask and once again, flow to 100% and painting with black, just remove evidence of us being there yeah I don't know if I like the underglow at all see if I can tone it down whether I like it or not but I think I prefer it yeah no I definitely prefer the dark vibe under the car to be honest so I won't use that most likely all right I think it's looking good I'm just going to clean up some things now so I can see there's some light a few little things I don't like. This stripe here, I'm going to just tone that down a little bit. So we'll just find out where that comes from. Just by turning each layer off and on. And we'll see that appear and reappear. That's it there. So the side top. Black brush. Tone that down just a little bit. And that as well. Maybe even remove that altogether. Um, just looking around, seeing if there's anything from this bright ambient layer I might want. And maybe we should do... Uh, 
Maybe I could just fill this lay mask with black and maybe paint some of the roof in. Uh, not sure about that. So just quickly, if we did want to have a bit of fun, this is that um, styling layer I made. If we set that to lighten and we can paint out once again at a layer mask. Set the flow to 100% and we can paint out some things that we don't want. That's kind of cool if that's the vibe that you like, but I don't think I'll do that for this one. Um, let's turn that off. Just going through and checking my other layers, seeing if there's anything I'd like to use. Might just delete the layer mask on this one. Add it again and perhaps just paint out everything we don't want. And now what I may do is see if I can find another layer where the bottom of the doors are lit up a little bit better. All right, so I actually found a, another layer in Lightroom that I had taken while we were there. It's a bit, the reason I didn't use this originally, I had the light set a little bit too bright. You can see that it's causing this really kind of bright effect on the car, but I might be able to tone that down a bit and use some of that to get this bottom section of the car here a little bit more better exposed. So um, black cars are definitely a challenge when it comes to light painting because they they don't they reflect the light in kind of a strange way compared to a lot of other cars um the light can be really harsh when it's reflected but anyway um let's add a layer mask to this and we'll paint out once again flow at 100 percent paint out any of this stuff here and it might be able to go somewhere pretty low on the flow and slowly tone that down but i'm not sure Um, I don't know, I'm starting to think this could be close to finished. I'll just see if there's anything else I'd like to include and then we'll go from there. Alright, so I'm going to turn this roof line from back layer back on, but I'm going to... I do like how you can see the rear, uh, the rear tire there, because without that you can't really see it. But I'm just going to blend a few things in a bit nicer, so... Possibly get rid of that... Light on the window altogether. And then just give this a bit of a blend. All right, so that's probably about it. It's probably as far as I'll go with this for this lesson. And I think it looks pretty good. We've done a pretty good job here, as you can see. I do wish I lit the bottom of this section here a little bit better, but again, it was really hard to do. I did it a few times and just it just wouldn't light up as what I expected or what I wanted. But yeah, all in all, I think it looks pretty good. And now what we can do is save it. And if we want to, we can make some further edits in Lightroom. But um, yeah, for the sake of this lesson, that's it. That's how you light paint a car. And you can also do this with other objects, not just cars. You can uh, light paint rooms, objects. Yeah, pretty much anything you like. So, hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one.